Now I want to see! Oh. I still see a little bit of lag in the stream. Let me fix that. Anastropic! Anisotropic. Okay, that's down a little bit. Did it work? Nope. You know, too much. Jeremy, I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? That's it's my only exit! Daring, mysterious. It's all. This daring and mysterious! You world. can write and yourself out of a paper bag! I know it's an outline, but seriously, every time you write something, it's like, oh, it's this one direct line. You know, you. Yes. You, do you want simplicity or do you want creativity? Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. It's not. Use your imagination. <sighs> Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm just walking around in circles. I sang the song only because I like the song, not because I like... Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, hallways. Oh, no, not you again. Ah. Uh, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Are you trying to work Just with me? Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Are you trying to side with me? Well, I guess the story went through the roof. Ha-ha! <laughs> Unlike you, narrator. Oh, burned. Just like the child you had before. Oh, oh that got burned too. Oh, multiple Our burn. A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. It's and all in circles. It's all connected. Corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So a counter inverted reverse right, door's origin is nothing more than the reverse of the forward effect. If you're going with the reversal of the forward effect, you're not exactly having an emotion because you're cancelling out your own motion. The door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. A destiny of an open door is not exactly all that appealing if an open door does lead to nowhere. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart yeah, the game nice. eight... Eight times? That's really how all this goes? I need to read and catch this. Determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. Find a bookstore. <laughs> like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh, now you actually on mine. Stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. Near my circles. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, quite sure right. We're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, we're not eh? really going anywhere. Well, in the meantime... What the... What the heck was that?
That was a little bit creepy. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Where's the adventure line? Adventure line! Where are you? <clears throat> adventure! When Stanley came to a set of two Hello, open doors, adventure! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew Adventure! Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just no, to I didn't. admire it. I'll walk through it this time because the you think I'm so high. focused on the fine the details of, of a vending machine. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door uh, his left. You know what? Since you kind of ruined the whole adventure thing for me, I'm going to take something else. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Aren't you sassy? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize uh -huh. that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Of this course, because it's a Stanley parable. My name is totally Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. There is no her your in this case. To put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who is she? The only she I know is Derby, and right now she's doing fine. She's overplaying on her own computer. I mean, seriously, you think I'm gonna let her back into my life? Who is she? Derby, the new is talking about some mayor that apparently. Thinks it needs to come back into my life. I need to open up more. Really? It's all a what? It's all a lie? <clears throat> Pardon the voice crack. You didn't hear that. Debbie says it's all a lie. Uh, who's Missy? There isn't any Missies, as far as I know. Whoa! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. <clears throat> to reach out to her. If you can truly... What do you think this is, a romance? In another, ...then pick up the phone. Fine. I'll listen a little bit. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. The bread. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... your damn boy. <laughs> gotcha. No. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a... Oh, oh we're getting this person now, are we? Come inside. Who would exactly want to sleep sure with anyone who can never idea. be seen? Well, you tell me that then, narrator, and then you might find yourself with a good place to go. But if you can find the answer, you have to find yourself first. Goodbye, so, wife. But you're in my story now. Well, you know what? I don't have to listen to you. I'm just going to casually walk back and forth in this hallway. Not like you have anything better to do there, narrator. You think you're gonna be fantastic, aren't you? But I'm gonna guess you're the type of guy who decides not to say anything unless I do something. So to save on time and the stress of anyone watching, we'll proceed, I guess. Hello, this Manny. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Um, what? Oh, no, that's not X. Oh, what's X? Is it Z? Is it C? No, that's not X. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. You have a chair and block in the bed. Pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Mm hmm.
I'm just pressing nothing that you can do. I'm just typing away for something you have no control over there, narrator. You and your precious eight. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Hey, Manny, do you think this guy's pretty nice? Because I don't. He is absolutely unkind, uncouth, and incompetent. Thank you, Manny. I do agree. This well, in one his mind, ah, in his mind, is being he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the... I went to a wild expedition. You opened the door. ...of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Manny, I can't believe this guy. Seriously. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize oh, that all really? his co-workers, his boss... Everyone in the Why do I have a picture of, the face of, the earth. of the my boss? Of my earth. boss's office. Oh, spend time with the boys, right? Why would I forget so about the boys? He went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. You're killing me with your boring story, narrator. Zero is being pressed. I'm pressing... As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down That's you, are you Stanley narrator? Room, with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh it was such goodness. a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope uh, that it would Now I'm falling asleep. The narrator's being boring again. Free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps yeah, if you will let me go any other path. <sighs> Manny, I adore thee like the there plastic. No answer. How Never could mind. There possibly be? You reality, took my. What doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Get... Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more unrest he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I hate Mondays. Yeah. Go to sleep. In the standing position. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains Obse here, he slowly... You are the himself. observer, you freaking narrating draconicus. Yeah, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. I won't press it. You said it. It's your request. I'm just gonna lay back in my chair as you bicker on about uh, the Stanley Parable, where we have to go down a land of quests which have nothing to do further than a frickin' paper clip on a desk. And making copies, the adventures of Copy Machine. No. The conquest of copy machine. Making several copies at a second's notice. Did you want that on trifold or bifold? The copier can do it all. But apparently you want me to do something and apparently it has to be. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? That is fainting in the How wrong direction! I'm not himself. trying to kill myself, you- You are an asshole! I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. <sighs> not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him.
I'm compelled to. You know oh, what's that's... disgusting now, oh, narrator. Well, this whole concept of being okay with yeah, a character trying to try commit suicide. You I are mean, very much a horrible person. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Yeah, I didn't die. I restarted. Your exact freaking obsession with death and suicide and killing is bordering on the worst abhorrent range of any existentialism I have ever had the inconvenience of knowing. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, there's no one over my shoulder except a Discordian butt flap. <sighs> hey, Discord! When came to a set of two open doors, you know, he once. the door on his left. I'll do it once for you. Just because you're so much of an ass. Yet there was not a single person here either. Uh huh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley. A wave of disbelief? To to Can you believe the broom no, closet? No, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. All Please right. take your time. All right, Neo Skate, have a great night. Rest well without the discordia of the narrator. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Coming to a staircase, Stanley no. walked upstairs to his boss's no. office. No. Nope. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility You're, of facing why his boss. Why do you have a picture like that? Admitting he had down left here. his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers crazy, right. out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why because that's how the game's programmed? Behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his <sighs> tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. We have a dreaming. We have a fart and blasted this cop this across the room with their butt. Oh, I believe Jeremy. Jeremy would only fart so hard. To have finally found an answer, I said that. an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he yeah. imagined himself flying. The narrator loves circles. Above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. <sighs> Why Come on. is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley. Now he you're self-aware. That's what I'm talking about there, narrator. Now you're paying attention to what you're doing. Me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all it be proverbial. Odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley I can take all the responsibilities I need to, or not. That is at my discretion. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just...
He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, uh, meditation. the fresh air of a world outside this one. You mean like the big door? Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. No, I'm not. I wish it to be over. No, it's a Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. Oh, good old nanny. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I mm -hmm. am okay. You're not okay there, Discord. Not by a long shot. Stanley yep. began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Of course. You this is like the story of a woman you? named Mariella. Okay, this is getting Mariella interesting. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. On this particular day, her walk was interrupted Bite by me, a of a narrator. Man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what You want to talk? And in that moment, the only one that's crazy is you, Discord. Because who else would make such a world as discombobulated as this? I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. No. Then she remembered oh. the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, Oh my the god, that is life. shallow! She had no time for this. So always for impressions. It's like, oh, you can't just mess up once. If you mess up, you're always in trouble. And that is completely tell. inappropriate. You should not have to be worrying and stressing so hard. That you might fail. Because no way in life should you be worrying about failing. When you should be more focused on what makes you happy and what you can succeed in. My god, if it really comes down to just being worried about the judgment of others, that is not a very happy life. That is a horrible place to be in. Now I know plenty of people that do not need to be in such a bad place. Yeah, sure, I'll wow. just look at these yes. chairs of yes. amazing detail, what with hoof-farted cops all over them. Because everyone has a gas at an office, especially when you Stand fart in the meeting. Oh, uh, whoop! And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What? Did someone say contradiction? I did! Next section.